And now, it's time for our daily devotion, daily abiding in Jesus Christ. In the book of John chapter 15 verse 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. So we invite you to spend a little moment as we bring you today's daily abiding in Jesus Christ, a daily devotional ministry project of Christodo Genovaga from passages taken from the Holy Scriptures with quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy by Ellen G. White. Daily abiding in Jesus Christ. June 2nd, 2020 Matthew 20 verse 1 to 16 1. For the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is an householder, which went out early in the morning to hire laborers into his vineyard. 2. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, he sent them into his vineyard. 3. And he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace. 4. And said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right I will give you. And they went their way. 5. Again he went out about the sixth and ninth hour, and did likewise. 6. Again about the eleventh hour he went out, and found others standing idle and saith unto them, Why stand ye here all the day idle? 7. They say unto him, Because no man hath hired us. He saith unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, that shall ye receive. 8. So when even was come, the Lord of the vineyard saith unto his steward, Call the laborers, and give them their hire beginning from the last unto the first. 9. And when they came that were hired about the eleventh hour, they received every man a penny. 10. But when the first came, they supposed that they should have received more, and they likewise received every man a penny. 11. And when they had received it, they murmured against the good men of the house. 12 saying, These last have wrought but one hour, and thou hast made them equal unto us, which have borne the burden and heat of the day. 13. But he answered one of them, and said, Friend, I do thee no wrong, didst not thou agree with me for a penny? 14. Take that thine is, and go thy way. I will give unto this last, even as unto thee. 15. But is it not lawful for me to do what I will with mine own? Is thine eye evil, because I am good? 16. So the last shall be first, and the first last, for many be called, but few chosen. Quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy in the parable of the laborers in the vineyard the first laborers agreed to work for a stipulated sum, and they received the amount specified, nothing more. Those later hired believed the master's promise, whatsoever is right, that shall ye receive. They showed their confidence in him by asking no question in regard to wages. They trusted to his justice and equity. They were rewarded not according to the amount of their labor, but according to the generosity of his purpose. Christ Object Lessons, page 397 So God desires us to trust in him who justifieth the ungodly. His reward is given not according to our merit but according to his own purpose, which he purposed in Christ Jesus our Lord. Ephesians 3 verse 11 not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us. Titus 3 verse 5 
and for those who trust in him he will do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. Ephesians 3 verse 20 Not the amount of labor performed for its visible results but the spirit in which the work is done makes it of value with God. Those who came into the vineyard at the eleventh hour were thankful for an opportunity to work. Their hearts were full of gratitude to the one who had accepted them, and when at the close of the day the householder paid them for a full day's work, they were greatly surprised. They knew they had not earned such wages. And the kindness expressed in the countenance of their employer filled them with joy. They never forgot the goodness of the householder or the generous compensation they had received. Thus it is with the sinner who, knowing his unworthiness, has entered the master's vineyard at the eleventh hour. His time of service seems so short, he feels that he is undeserving of reward, but he is filled with joy that God has accepted him at all. He works with a humble, trusting spirit, thankful for the privilege of being a co-worker with Christ. This spirit God delights to honor. By Ellen G. White Christ Object Lessons, pages 397, 398 Our prayer for you today. Dear God, our Father in Heaven, it is with profound humility and with awe and reverence that we approach your holy presence because you are our Creator and our loving Father. Our hearts are filled with joy and gratitude for sending your only begotten Son who suffered by shedding his blood at the cross and died in our place, and by believing in him we are able to receive eternal life. Our prayer today is for for Jesus Christ to dwell in us, our only hope of being glorified. Thank you for answering our prayer for we ask you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.